realize that everything is not for everybody. I know you've heard that said before. Yes. It is some of the truest that anyone has ever said. Everything is not for everybody. Okay. Society tells you that you're supposed to be with one person. You get married and y'all supposed to be together forever. I am not getting on marriage. I am not getting on anyone who has figured out how to make that thing work for them. Again, everything is not for everybody. Monogamy is for you. Mm -hmm. It's not for me. I, re I realize I this. this. I know this now. And it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I realized I spent so much time lying and trying to be somebody that I wasn't for the sake of somebody else, mm -hmm. complete and utter time wasted. When I could have just been exactly who I am, said exactly what I want, exactly how I'm rocking, exactly how I'm not, and then waited for those people to gravitate to me. Because that's my, that's my reality now. That's my reality now. I don't have to lie anymore. And I'd and I, I be damned if I ever go back to that person that needed to lie for the appeasement of somebody else. I'm not that. Bravo, bravo. My good brother, bravo. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that was bravo. Neo explaining that society telling him he's supposed to be with one person and he said, you'll get married and you're supposed to be together forever. And he couldn't do it. He said monogamy was not for him. He but don't he already have like two girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah, he, like, he now he does. I think, I think he's he's they're looking for a third. Yeah, he's already doing it. Yeah, so he's finally figured out a polygamous life is for him. And I hate hearing when rich people say this because they make it seem like it's for everybody. Uh, uh, it's money not, is the it's main reason Neo can live this life. He's not pulling the chicks off his looks. Uh, do I want to broach this or am I going to let this? Go I'm, I'm going to let this. Uh, monogamy is definitely not for everybody. Mm. It, it's not. like, And we force people into it like you know we make you feel like if you're not monogamous then you're wrong that's how you were conditioned and th and that is our biggest problem as a society i think one of our biggest problems we won't let people live in their truth truthfully without feeling some type of repercussion or things like that because it's not the quote-unquote norm you want to jump down people's throat or you know be critical of what they do as long as they're not hurting it anybody and everybody's on the same page i don't see a problem with what he's doing what is norm, norm monogamy world, that me, that let me see that's the thing though everybody's normal is different like you have a lot of people that you know it is supposed to be with more than one or you know that's, mm -hmm. that's how they're brought up their culture they're supposed to have numerous wives or you know they really don't want you to have numerous husbands but numerous husbands <laughs> So I know they look down on that. Yeah, I don't care. So, <laughs> but not, but if you can home. pull it off, then you yeah, should be able so, to do I mean, it. But that's what you're conditioned to think. That it's but different to be people, one for me, is different people give you different feelings. You you see what I'm saying? Different people give you different things. We limit ourselves. Right. I've always been one to say we limit ourselves when we just sit down with just one partner. You cut everything off because you got this one partner but what about the other things that you enjoy doing? You might You've let all that stuff go. You might be something to numerous people. You yourself may be everything they want. Uh, and, but then, you know, you have this person that is not your everything but they have a quality that you that like. You like. And then this one have a quality that you like but you're still there. Or everything. you just, or it's as simple you know, as, or it's as simple as you just like spending time with this person and I like spending this time with that person. This person has a different relationship too than this person does. It, it's this just that simple. Different than this person does. Let's say one person may bring the financial. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This person may bring the, 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 the nourishment and you know the 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 affection. Uh, and this person may bring the fun. Uh, you see what I'm saying? And it, it's like you. It's hard to find all of that in one. It's possible, but it's hard. And I'm not knocking this person. This person all bring something different to your life. And I'm not knocking so anybody who bring, lives. I guess all of them are satisfied with. I'm not you know? knocking anybody who lives either wow. lifestyle That's because it depends on the person. That's for too some many people, personalities. It, it's for some people. It's not. What if, I, what if one of the girls has a peanut allergy? 
the other girl likes Reese's Pieces. It's, uh, if you're going to live that lifestyle, you make sure it's you brush your, your teeth point. Well, next. it's not just that. You have to make it to know these people. If you're going to go into something like this, you need to know the people that you're going into it with. And you need to be truthful. A lot of people aren't truthful exactly. in setting people up in these relationships. Especially when you are in a relationship, then you got a side chick. No, this isn't that. This is, look, I deal with you and I got somebody else that I deal with. That's a lot of monogamy. But if that's what, you know what I'm saying? But if that's what makes me happy as a grown man or as a grown woman, then I'm entitled to that. I do not have to be like, I just need one person to satisfy. I I think I'm putting too much on one person, possibly. Mm -hmm. You you can't take everything. That is too much. I, I can't burden one person with everything, but some people can. Yeah. Some people can. I'm not knocking the monogamy side, but I can't see the other side as well. I don't know. I don't understand man. it all. Me personally, I'm into monogamy. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's I a beautiful be thing. I believe right in the occasional the step right out. The right person would bring me everything that I'm, I'm looking for and I'm everything that they looking for. Yeah, it's me and you. Ain't nothing else. But until I find that, it's going to be you, you, and you. Y'all won't know about each other and play your position as you're supposed to. Good Lord, Kelly. Oh. Such is life. You sound like a dominatrix. You have be. a whole roster of... I might have a little something, something in Good my pocket. Good Lord. Look. <laughs> and Look. guess what? Look. Everybody knows about each like other. Like she said. Yeah. Everybody plays that position. And That's the most to, important part. You know what I'm you saying? You play everybody your position. To, yeah, because yeah. everybody know how our relationship is, so it's going to be what it is. Because the first time you cut up, everybody guess can't who be the quarterback. Every, the you know? first time you cut up, you gone. Like, we ain't got time for, yeah, we ain't, we ain't got time for no foolishness. This is what we doing. This is what we doing. This is what we doing. <laughs> we too we don't, old. This don't cross over into this, and this don't cross over into this. Uh. So if, if that's what you want to do, and you still want to love me the way this one loves me, love me. Uh. I'm willing to take all the love. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not yeah, knocking love. monogamy I'm because love. Love. I've seen a lot of monogamous <laughs> relationships that are beautiful, but I'm also not going to knock Polly because right. I know Polly could be possible if people put ego and jealousy to the side and quit letting outside America influence you by it's only monogamy. No, it's right. it's multiple ways to live life and be happy. Well, it's all about America, being happy. Outsiders in general. Anybody that's outside of that yeah. home or whatever you're trying to create. Yeah. Right. You know, everybody doesn't want to see you happy. And happiness isn't just one picture as we've come to see. Happiness just doesn't have to be a, a wife and a husband. That It doesn't have to be that anymore. Mm-hmm. With the way things going up. Well, I mean, it should be. Especially if we get in this financial crisis, you better find another partner to pick up some of them damn bills. And you yeah. know, that's another thing, too. Like, when you're in certain relationships, let's say you are in that, you know, type of relationship, poly relationship. And all y'all know about each other, all of y'all together. Let's say y'all in the same household. You know how much easier that would be on everybody? But see, this is the thing. Black people aren't raised like that. That's the real hindrance of it. You know, we're we're a very dominating and this is mine type of society. So to share or to do things of that nature, it definitely takes work. It does. You definitely have to. And you have to have yeah. a mindset and mind frame for it. That's something you have to be strong uh. for. That's not something you think you're just going to jump in and be like, oh, I'm that hot bitch. It don't work like that. Because, you know, everybody's. It's definitely a humbling situation yeah, if you're in it. Will. it. It's a humbling situation if you're in it. But like you say, it could be beneficial to it's all good parties. For everybody. Mm hmm. And if their kids are involved, it's beneficial for them too. Is it? Yeah. I think because each woman or each, you know, is bringing something different. Or, or let's say you have this one that's the homemaker, that's the cooker, right? Mm. You have this one that's the teacher that can teach these kids something different that their, their mother may not know. And let's say you have this one that has a whole other skill that, you know, neither one of these people have. So these kids are getting three different kinds of skills, three different kinds of education, three different kinds of life of living from three different people that love them. Plus, you don't know if these kids are, there. they might just be, you know, the only child. So now you're giving them siblings. That well, way not, you're, yeah. you're, you're, it, it's a lot of yeah, it's a lot things that it. are beneficial to it. Now, I, there, all, there are some negatives to it as well, but it, it can be beneficial if done right. That's right. If that circle goes around and goes around, made a complete circle, and it's always a complete circle, it's no problem. But as soon as you get a gap in that circle, y'all have to figure that out. Mm-hmm. 
Well, how, how do they figure that out? That's, that's for that's them. Everybody's them. different. Everybody's relationship is different. So however they know how to figure it out, if they got to eliminate one and add another one, or fix the one that's already there, or however I mean, go, whatever it's just it is that simple, they need to do to fix it. It's just as simple as how to just uh, a man and a woman go figuring it out. Yeah. It's okay now. You just it's got three a couple people. Other heads. Yeah, it's, you got a couple other minds to come together to help you figure it out. It ain't gonna be so much stress on him and her when you have her and her, or you know, say him and him. I ever go in there to help. However, it's set up. Yeah. Boot is all quiet. This is y'all world, yo. I know, that's what I was saying. I don't have these issues. Like I tell you, even when I'm about to go outside again here, probably go interact with everybody, see who living with type of what, whatever their lifestyle may be. So it's other ways to live besides monogamy. Right. And that's all. That's I'll say this, though. You know what I mean? Like, for what I do know and what I've been around for my years on this earth, everything ain't for everybody. It's right. not. That's, like, that's really the main thing. Like, like you're saying, it's egos. Uh, that's really the main thing. It's not even really the money. It's just the ego. It's for putting. A lot of it's putting. It's trying to put everybody in the box. You got to live this type of way. And live. it's how people. A lot of people. If you really want to put it into perspective, most people were brought up. Oh, I ain't gonna say most, but a lot of people I know they were raised in a you know black household, black parents, black church. Traditional. So you're already been whatever you thought you were having a free will to think of. No. You've been conditioned already. You, you, it's been in, it tried to be instilled and beaten it. You know that's what I'm saying. And, and once you become able to, that's the difference. You, you find enlightenment, get to thank for yourself, start seeing the world, seeing yeah. things differently. Like, oh man, what the fuck? What? 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 Something don't. You know something about whatever it is you're doing ain't right, like or it I seems said, off, black, or it's not black, natural or on, normal. On, on the last show, I said, you know, for us, you know, as the black community, you're taught to find your high school sweetheart and kind of keep her. Really? I've never heard that in our old, community. Old, old, and a little farther back. Yeah, you know, maybe. You have, you have, yeah, well, like you know, maybe, maybe grandparents. Well, that's why I said that, that's, the, high that, that, together, that's our age gap married. then. That's our you know, age but, gap. Well, but, shit, you know, I wouldn't have stood a chance. I didn't have a high school sweetheart. I didn't either. And the one I did, <laughs> my sweetheart. I, that's why I hate red bitch <laughs> now. Yeah. Good Lord. Thank you. I understand. I didn't Buddha have a high school sweetheart. Red women? That, but that's see that and that's my you see how long ago that, that, that it sounds absurd, don't it? Like I dude, I tell you all the time, man, I don't I I discriminate against if myself. If you were lucky to have a high school sweetheart. Red, red women, y'all, bro. Red bitch, y'all, y'all something different. I didn't have different one. kind of blood. And then my homie came and told oh, me, you know? like, yeah, and then like, that's my nigga. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I was introduced <laughs> to yeah, early in my life. Bitches oh, ain't shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That through my experiences as well, especially red bones. Oh, oh yeah. and then Ooh. yeah, like red bones are always the evil ones. That's every, what I'm trying to tell you, nigga. Like, like I'm wait, telling wait, you, I'm go, telling you. I go back and Would think you about it. Yo? Look, no, the red ones are always it's the, the evil. It's always the chocolate ones to be the easy going, cool ones. It's just like, always been like 